people. I am hopping on with a project share. I am joining the um, At the Beach Swap hosted by B Northway. And this is due July 15th. And I'm all finished. I'm about to ship it off, pack it up, be done. <laughs> um, this is going to be my last uh, summer swap that I'm working on. I do have a couple other summer projects coming up, but this is the last swap. Um, okay, so the requirements of the swap were to make a mini pocket letter, a set of three note cards, two embellishments, and then two crafter's choice, and then a $5 gift. Um, so I have created these little uh, beach bags. So I used the 3D tote bag die from KS Craft, and I tried to turn them into little uh, beach bags that you would take to the beach. And I have decorated up the fronts using this little flamingo um, inner tube die from Lawn Fawn. And I think these summer dies are from KS Craft. And um, just use some stuff from the collection. I'm using the Photo Play. Hold on. It's Photo Play Sweet Sun Sunshine Collection. And um, this was a really fun collection to work with. Although it was a little bit difficult just because I didn't have a lot of ephemera. Uh, I did a haul video of when I purchased this and I'm not a huge fan of their ephemera. Um, it's really like almost more like journaling type ephemera. Um, so I had to do a lot of die cuts and stuff from the sticker sheet. And um, that's hard for me because I don't know why I just don't use the sticker sheets a lot. Anyways, I made it work. Um, the collection is really cute. It's got some really fun beachy type themes going. So anyways, I made uh, these three. They're pretty close to the same. Um, you know, these two have the navy bow and this one has a yellow bow um, and there's different color schemes. But for the most part, each one of these totes is pretty much the same. So I'm going to move two of these out of the way and we'll take a look at this one. So um this is the tote. I did create little dangles for the sides. Um, I've got a little sun charm here and a uh, seashell and then just some little beads that coordinate with the color scheme. And um, I've got my little tag on the back here. I did stitch on the front around uh, the sides and then I've got a little bit of stitching here. Um, and then I did stitch on the back panel. I didn't do the sides. Um, I use like super thick thread because I like the way it looks, but it means that it's kind of bulky on the back side. So I didn't want to add extra bulk to the sides. So I didn't stitch on the sides. Um, okay. This thing is packed full. Um, I'm going to fit everything in here though, except for my $5 gift. Well, part of the $5 gift, uh, I'm going to have to wrap that up separately and add it in the bag. So let me just take everything out and share with you guys what I'm sending. So first up, I have this embellishment. This was the fruit stand die set from KS Craft. Actually, I think it's the kissing booth and then the summer add-on. And um, I thought that that would be really cute. Uh, a little fruit, fruit stand by the beach. So I've got that little embellishment there. I also made a memory decks card. And this Memory Dex die is from KS Craft. Um, I had a lot of fun making this. I used the sticker sheet here. The waves are from the sticker sheet. I put some tan paper down here at the bottom like it was uh, the beach. I've got this little sunshine die cut and some clouds. And this little sunshine word here. Um, so I think that turned out pretty cute. Uh, I've got this little... Uh, pineapple drink embellishment that I made and I got this die off of AliExpress I think last summer and um, really cute turned out cute and I've got uh, this little uh, pocket coin, coin pocket here and I put a few die cuts in there basically all the die cuts I had left over so when I start a swap or a project I just die cut a whole bunch of stuff um, I grab all the dies I think will work with the collection and I just start die cutting and paper piecing and then I use whatever while I'm creating and whatever's left over I usually gift. So everything that was left over that I didn't use is inside. Uh, this is the little sandcastle die that I recently hauled from Timu 
And then this uh, little piece here is from the sticker sheet. And then I stitched around, so that's cute. Uh, this is the watermelon shaker die set from KS Craft. And it's got a little summer word here and this like hibiscus type flower. And um, I think that turned out sweet. And in here I have my note cards. And let's see if I could take this off without messing up the packaging here. Um, I decided to make some three by three note cards. I had these blank ones in my stash with the matching envelopes. So I decided to go for that. So I just made some little three by three note cards. They're all kind of the same layout, but they have different embellishments in the center. This is a really um, sort of thick resin piece. Um, this came in a sticker pack that I got from uh, Michael's and I thought it was really cute. So I put it on there and then added this little summer day word at the bottom. And then it does have the coordinating envelope here. And then um, for this one, I used this little flamingo die that I had in my stash. I think this is from MFT, My Favorite Things, um, if I recall correctly. And then it says, be happy. And then uh, this one is a little swimsuit. And it says beach. And it's got a little um, sea star there. So super cute. Just kind of simple, uh, but I think they turned out cute. And uh, so I'm going to send those along as my little note card set. Okay, and then um, the next thing we had to make was a pocket letter. This is my very first ever pocket letter. Actually, it was a mini pocket letter. Um, this was really difficult for me because I've never made a pocket letter before. I've never received a pocket letter before. I'm not even sure if I fully understand um, what a pocket letter is. Um, but I did make one. Uh, I think it turned out okay. Um, again, it was hard. <laughs> This is really hard for me. Um, so I used baseball card pockets and just cut them. I did a little research on what a mini pocket letter was. Um, so I just cut it. I used my fuse tool to seal up the top so that the cards don't come out. Um, and I just used some of the journaling cards from the collection and then some of the pattern papers and just kind of mixed up a little bit. Um, all the pocket letters are just a little bit different, um, but they're also kind of the same. Some of them have the same elements, the same pages, but they're kind of a different um, mixture of them. So uh, over here on this one, we have this cute ice cream and then the word yum, which comes from the ice cream word die set from KS Craft. I did do a little stitching over here of some yellow ribbon and put some enamel dots on there. And then in this pocket, I have a shaker mix here and it says fill the world with sunshine. And then I put a little uh, paper clip up there. And then on this one, I did some paper tearing and I used the sunny day sentiment from the sticker sheet. And then I've got a little flag up here with a button and some twine. And then on the back, I uh, use some pattern paper here and I have a, okay, so here I used a 3D sticker from some stickers that I had picked up at Michael's and then this is a journaling card here with the sun and then I use the word relax from KS Craft and it says seize the day and then over here this was some pattern paper and this was a 3D sticker from another sticker pack from Michael's. So um, for this collection, I really did rely pretty heavily on, um, some stickers, some like 3D stickers because there wasn't really a lot of ephemera for this collection. So I had to get creative about <laughs> where I was going to get my embellishments. Uh, so I did use quite a few 3D stickers, um, which was good to get them used up from my stash and added to the projects and, um, you know, sometimes I kind of forget that I have 3D stickers to use. Okay, let me get that back in the package. Okay. All right, uh, then let's see, in here, uh, part of the $5 gift I'm sending is this washi tape. It's really cute. It's from Echo Park. It has bikinis on it, and I thought it matched really well with this collection. I did have to take the tag off in order to get it to fit in the bucket, 
Um, but this was supposed to be like the $5 gift. And then I'm also sending this little dangle that I hauled from uh, Kobe's. It has like these hibiscus flowers on it. Um, but then I also picked up um, sort of as an afterthought, this flip-flop die from Maker's Movement. So you guys have probably seen that they were going out of business and they had everything for a dollar. So I did pick up some flip-flop dies and I'm going to send that as well. And that's what won't fit in the package. It's too wide. So I'm going to package it separately and then just kind of add it onto the back of this package. So I think it'll work out okay. Um, but yeah, that is what I am sending in the swap. Um, I had a lot of fun working on uh, summery beach type projects. Um, and I got to use a lot of my summer dyes, which was really great because um, I think I've mentioned this before, but up until last year, I really have never made a lot of summer projects. So I, you know, owned a lot of summer stuff, but just never really used it much. Um, and so it was nice to like, you know, get my stuff out and actually use it. So that was really good. And I had a lot of fun. Uh, kind of putting this together and making it work and let's see if I can get it all back in here again now it's a <laughs> it's a very snug fit once I get it in here it's not coming out it's not going to fall out <laughs> on its own um so yeah so now I just need to package this up put it in a big cellophane bag with some shred and then I'll wrap up that little flip-flop die and this will be ready to get mailed off so uh I will talk to you guys later and uh take care all right bye